just teamer energy with the Elder Deep Fiends. Tyler up a game as we bring you in here. Fevered Visions out of the sideboard is going to be in play for Todd Stevens. He's at 16, Tyler down to 8. But it looks like we're, we've reached the point of the game where Tyler's starting to make Elder Deep Fiends. We'll see if that is enough. Mm -hmm. See four cards in hand for Tyler. He's going to have to try to play some of these because of Fevered Visions. This one doesn't help the Fever Visions problem. No, Rogue Refiner? Ugh. Draws Glorybringer? Yeah, stop. Too much? So you're, you're kind of seeing my concern about Fever Visions. Yes, Tyler's taken a lot of damage, but he's capable of dealing a lot of damage. Yeah, Servant of the Conduit. And here's going to be a swing from Tyler for five. Todd down to 11. Tyler could just Magma Spray his own guy if he didn't want to take damage. But he will go ahead and take the damage, and his own Chandra is put into the graveyard. Yeah. Todd using a nice trick there, using the Fever Vision's damage to take care of the Planeswalker. Oath of Nyssa for Todd. I'm just hoping, hoping, hoping we're going to see Bolas. He can't cast it. He'd have to have a land in his hand. Oh, no. No, he'd be one sure. <laughs> Gets Long Tusk Cub. Plays an Aether Hub. Decent chunk of energy there. Six, so he can make the Long Tusk Cub up to a 5-5. Five, five. Tapping four here, he's going to have Nahiri the Harbinger. That Oath of Nyssa letting him cast the card. That's a big find to take care of that Elder Deep Fiend. Yeah, she'll exile that away. Plays his last card. It's a Long Tusk Cub, six energy in play. Not too bad. We go back over to Tyler. Todd did not... Yeah, he draws on his end step. There we go. Rogue Refiner, the pickup for Tyler. Okay, with the Cub on the battlefield, Tyler's still at five cards in hand facing down Fever Visions, and the Elder Deep Fiend gone. This position doesn't look great anymore. So he does have Glory Bringer. He can deal a lot of damage yeah, with that. Yeah, it's interesting. We see here it looks like Magma Spray going to hit the Long Tusk Cub. Todd will pump it. Make it a 3-3. Three, three. Now Tyler's going to try maybe for Glory Bringer. There's a dragon. There's already two damage on that cub. So Glory Bringer is going to attack and exert four damage to cub. Attack. I will see where it's going. Probably Nahiri. Mm -hmm. And Rogue Refiner attacks too. Todd does not have enough energy to save the cub. It already has two damage on it. Okay, so Glory Bringer attacks Todd and, and Rogue Refiner attack Nahiri. That's just better. Right. Todd goes down to seven. And Tyler's doing a great job of using this Fevered Visions to, to get more cards but never hit four. I, I see what you mean where, yeah, is this good? Right, being, mm -hmm. able, to two, mm -hmm. being able to two spell there, that, that was huge. Todd's going to cast Chandra, plus two for mana, then cast Bristling Hydra. Yeah, you know, we generally only see Fevered Visions really in beatdown decks, which Todd is not playing. Right. It makes sense to bring in against a deck like Blue Red Control, you know, where they're generally going to have a ton of cards in their hand, and they won't have answers to an enchantment. But when your opponent's casting Rogue Refiners, yes, they redraw cards, but they also attack for three. Glorybringer attacks for a lot. Elder Deep Fiend attacks for a lot. It's going to be another Rogue Refiner from Tyler. This is not going to help him get out of range. I guess here we go. Another island. Cast Elder Deep Fiend in hand. Yeah, these extra cards are just helping Tyler. Mm -hmm. Barrels, Expertise, Rogue Refiner, and Elder Deep Fiend, his last three. So expertise won't be able to bounce the Blistering Hydra. In fact, he'll want to target one of his own creatures to get that spell to actually resolve. If he does that, he can cast the Rogue Refiner. Or he can just pass the turn. All right, he goes up to four, so Tyler will get knocked down to six there. Steven's going to draw. Tyler's saying, hold on, I have a play. It's going to be Elder Deep Fiend. Emerge it off of Rogue Refiner. And tap. Looks like some of Todd's lands. Got to find a way to get through that Bristling Hydra. 
does Tyler. Taps Tyler just down to red and green mana, leaving him just the basics. Mm -hmm. Still access to mana off the Chandra if he wants that. Still has Oath and Nissa if his play as Planeswalkers. Chandra will shoot down Glorybringer. And that's where I kind of wanted to see the uh, Barrel's expertise targeting Hydra Glorybringer. Sure. Go back over to Tyler. Negate the pickup. And that's going to be great. I mentioned that Todd was playing towards some outs like Nicol Bolas. None, none of that to worry about, though. Right. And of the four cards in Tyler's hand, another land that'll help him get under the fear visions again. And notably, the Deep Fiend, it can still trade with the Hydra after two pumps and is lethal with either of the other two creatures that he controls. Yeah, here is Rogue Refiner for loots. Aether Hub. Yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tougher block. Yeah, even with two pumps, mm. but the deep bean still trades. So here's going to be a swing of all three creatures from Tyler. I believe these are all going upstairs. Yeah. Block has to be on deep bean, otherwise the attack is lethal. All at Todd. Bristling, brist, bristling Hydra blocks the deep fiend and double pumps. So it's a trade. Todd takes five, goes to two. Tyler has negate Aether Hub and Barrel's expertise. Likely going to be taking two off of Fever Visions yeah, here. Yeah, goes down to four, draws another land. Back to Todd Stevens. His draw, another land. So does he have any more plays? He has Servant of the Conduit. Chandra's going to plus give him a new card. It's a Rogue Refiner. Sure, he'll play that one. Cast Rogue Refiner is a possible blocker. That will draw him Long Tusk Cub. All right, more more play here for Todd. Long Servant of the Conduit. That was the card in his hand. Long Tusk Cub. So this would be the requisite, requisite number of blockers, if not for that barrel's expertise over in Tyler's Oh, yeah, hand. he still has that triple bounce spell. We go back over to Tyler, and this is just going to be easy. Yeah, draw Sky Sovereign, but he doesn't need it. He has the bounce. Barrel's expertise. Here we go. Three creatures. How about bounce your three blockers? And Todd extends the hand. It's going to be Tyler Lutz, Teamer Energy. With the win, Tyler improves to seven and one. And the cyborg strategy for Todd there did, did not look effective, I have to say.